So welcome back to the channel everyone. Today is another quick video. I wanted to show you guys how to easily set up your MB server on your Synology NAS. Now for you guys that are subscribed to the channel, you know that I've done reviews on Plex on multiple devices and I'm doing the same for MB just to I give you guys more options. Maybe you prefer one over the other and later on I will try to do a side by side comparison. Now unlike Plex and your Synology NAS, you will not be able to find NB on your package center. So you have to take a couple additional steps. Today I'm going to walk you all the way through it. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please smash that subscribe button at the top right, hit a thumbs up, share this video if you think it might help someone else. If you have any suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. I'll always go through the comments and I always try to read your comments and respond to them. So let's go ahead and jump into it without further delay. So first things first, if you guys own a Synology NAS and you don't know how to set it up, please, I've done a couple videos on Synology and I'll link those in the description as well as the comment section. Synology makes it easy to manage your network resources guys no one else does it better in my opinion so once you logged into your interface of your nas it will look something like this you might not have your packet center on these apps on your desktop but it's easy to go ahead and get those all you have to do is click on the main menu and then it's just easy to drag and drop to your desktop so once everything's set up guys we're going to go ahead and open our packet center now like i said before you cannot just search for mb you can search for plex you can see Plex is available, it is installed. MB, however, will not be there. So what you need to do is go to your settings, you can go to your package sources, and you're gonna add a source, guys. So you're gonna click add. So from here, we're gonna give it a name. We're gonna name it MB LLC. Now we're gonna put in the URL, guys. So we're gonna put in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Synology dot mb.media so pretty straightforward I will put this in the description as well so once you have that typed exactly like you see it there click OK so adding the package source will also trust the publisher certificate on this server we're going to click OK again and just in case it isn't trusted by default guys we're going to go back to our general and just in case it's not trusted by default guys it might be selected right here or right here. So we want to go ahead and select the second option where it says Synology Inc. and Trusted Publisher. So we want to make sure that's selected, guys. So click OK there again. All right, it's going to save it. So now that we added those source, we trusted it. We're going to go to our community. And now MB should pop up, guys. So we're just going to click Install. And there we go. So MB is now installed and we're just going to exit out of here for now. But uh, again, if you want it on your desktop, just click on your main menu up top. You're going to see MB right here. We're just going to drag it to our desktop. And now we're going to go ahead and set it up. But before we do, just like Plex, you need to create a share folder where your media is going to be. So for me, I do have a folder already uh, with all my media. And I'll show you guys where that is. But also, if you guys don't have that folder, it's easy to go ahead and create. So if you don't have that folder, you're going to go to your control panel. You're going to go to shared folders. And within here, you're going to go to create. And you're going to go through all the steps, guys. So you're going to give it a name. You're going to give it a description. You're going to select the volume that you want. And also, you're going to select if you do want to keep a recycling bin. And that uh, keep a backup for some of the data that you erased accidentally or whatever the case is. You do have the option to restrict it to admin only. So up to you totally. You're going to click next. You're going to choose to encrypt or not. Up to you. Uh, if you guys do want to create a quota for that folder, you can go ahead and do so. So if you want to make it only two gigs or whatever the case is, you can go ahead and do so. I'm going to click next. And you're going to click apply just to create that folder. Now, once you click apply, it will create a folder just like I have here. I do have a cloud sync. I do have family picks. And I do have my Plex Media Server, which I'm just going to double up as my NB source folder as well, guys. So, And one thing you want to do is just make sure your permissions are set or else you won't be able to access the media on that folder. So we're going to click on edit. I'm going to go to permissions. You can see I do have the users on here that do have read write access. So right now it's set to admin as well as triple M. And like I said, if you guys have multiple users, maybe you have your kids on there, your wife, whatever the case is, you can restrict the folders accordingly. It's just for this setup, I do want to give MB read write to that Plex folder because that's where all my media is located. So I'm going to click OK here. I'm going to click OK. And there we go. So now we're ready to set up MB. So let's go ahead and launch it. 
and essentially just opens a new web browser to get you started. So select our language. Next. For here, if you guys are new users, you do have the option to go ahead and uh, put in this information like just to get your MB account situated. Now I have done previous setups of MB, so I do have a username and account already, and I do have the Embry Premiere, which gives you additional options. And if you guys have any questions, please check out my initial MB setup where I did it on a PC. Uh, much easier process, but I went through all these steps, creating an account, and just to get everything up and running. Also went through the different pricing options for your Premiere accounts, guys. So check that out, and I'll put a card in the top right right now. All right, so my NB account has been added. Just got an email on my phone as well, guys. So from now, I'm just going to select my media library. So I'm going to click Add. So for this one, I'm just going to have three main folders. One's for movies, one for music, and one for TV shows. So let's go ahead and do that. So movies, we're going to browse our folders. Of course, this is on the NAS. So what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to Volume. Going to go to Plex. And we're going to go to movies. So this is going to be the main folder for our movie. So I'm just going to click OK. And now I do have some additional options. Uh, preferred language. I can select English there. Country. U.S. So media source, I'm just going to leave it to the movie database. So this is where it's going to pull uh, some of the data from. Uh, you can save, do different things with the thumbnails. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to click OK. And this will essentially create the first folder for my movie. So let me go ahead and add the other two folders. And uh, depending on how you guys are set up, you can uh, just have one main folder. You can separate it how you want, but definitely up to your personal preference. Sometimes uh, you want to go in and play with it, see what works best for you. I'm going to click Next. Next here. Allow remote. You want to allow remote connection to the server. So um, leave those options checked. Accept the terms of service. Click Next. All right. And we're just going to click finish. All right, so let's go ahead and log in. All right, here's the main interface. I know if you guys see my first MB setup, it's the same uh, basic interface, guys. Give you a lot of different options. Your um, remote WAN access, I'm going to block all that out, of course. But scroll down to the left, you see Ember Premiere. So I do have Ember Premiere, so let me go ahead and put that key in. And I'll go ahead and blur that out as well, guys. All right, so that's been updated. So, so Emory Premiere is up and running. It will give me those options to uh, access my media wherever from whatever device. Uh, definitely worth it in my opinion. So everything's set up. So let's go ahead and we'll go to the main dashboard. So everything's set up. So all we got to do is hit home. And here we are in NB, guys. And like I said, big fan of this interface. And we'll give it a couple minutes. You will see that everything will start to update. Thumbnails will start to populate, and you can see we do have my media up top, so I do have movies that I created, music, as well as TV shows. So let's click on movies and just see what we have. All right, so everything started to populate. Looks pretty nice. And that's basically it, guys. From here, you can play directly from the web interface, which I do like. I'm going to stop that. And uh, as far as accessing this on your mobile device, just go ahead and sign in and you should be good to go. So what the server is doing right now is reaching out to the internet. It's collecting different um, thumbnails for your movies and everything should populate in a couple minutes. So that's it for this video. Definitely want to hear your thoughts on this one. This is set up for MB on your Synology NAS. If you guys have any questions about MB, Synology, Plex, anything, I'll try to link as many videos I can in the description of this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video share this video if you think it might help someone else thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you on the next one